guys, it's me, the Senile Simmer, and welcome back to part two of my reaction video. This one will be focusing on the clothing, the hair, the accessories, and the build-by items that you will get with Island Living. Hope you enjoy. I don't know how I feel about these balloon pants, to be honest, but everything else looks pretty awesome. Love the beach towels. Hopefully get a good variety of those. Uh, my favorite one, maybe this one right here. Uh, my favorite beach towel decoration is this one. And those of you who are on Twitter know exactly what I'm talking about. I love this outfit. I love her hair. I love everything about this thing. She's absolutely beautiful. Toddler two-piece bikini. Did you catch that? Two-piece bikini. All right, what do we have here? Oh, there's so much stuff. Um, this looks like a new outfit and a new hair. I like this outfit. There's an open shirt, Hawaiian print. There's a lot of things going on in the bar that the building people will uh, probably do better than I do, but I do see this tilted window. We've had open windows before, but this one's kind of cool, a little bit different. Her earrings, I had to die for her earrings and her necklace. Everything, like I said, everything about her, I'm loving. So that looks like something the Flintstones would wear. <laughs> My daughter thought his arm was tattooed that way and I just had to assure her that, nope, that is part of his outfit. I wonder if you can put this, like, as a beach, a bikini cover-up, not with the pants. Is it separate? Is it together? We don't know. But it would be cool if it was separate and then we could just put it over like a string bikini or, um, you know, whatever. Even over a one piece. It would be a really pretty, because this is the similar, only without the pants. So it must come apart. Although, maybe not. It comes. This one comes up a little higher and down a little lower. So it covers more of her skin. So it's really hard to tell. This is a whole one piece outfit and I'm seriously loving it. Tribal tattoos, nice, the wrist lays. His hair, I think, is new. All right, when they get to cast, I'm going to slow it way down so that we can actually look at it all. All right, so we have this outfit, which I have already said. I love it. I can't tell. I'm pretty sure the necklace is new. I don't know if the strappy sandals are new, possibly. There you go. There's a different look. Uh, nice. It looks like several different colors for that one. They all look like they come with a great, uh, a good variety of colors and textures. This is like a long sleeved, more deeply v-necked version of this one here. It's another culotte set, which is nice. There's that little dress. There's a dress there. I like the sunset colors. It does come in. Looks like greens and blues and reds and uh, purpley pink. I can't wait to see how that looks. That would make a really nice bathing suit cover up. Here we have a two-piece set. I believe that is a high-waisted swimsuit, possibly. Scuba suit comes it's an ombre type top and it comes in several different swatches is was that the only top we have the, those bottoms oh there's a new top another like skirt very cute actually those are cool lots you can see that they're um, actually around the leg with a little skirt that goes over it. That's nice. I actually remember wearing those growing up. So what goes around comes around, right? What was in fashion 30 years ago, coming around. Cute with the birds. Little parrot print. A longer skirt. So we transitioned into this top with these shorts. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I like that top quite a bit, actually. 
We have a notched collar that's hidden by her necklace. That comes in a lot of colors. Can't wait to see what the prints are. Okay, another skirt. A lot of those um, asymmetrical skirts. Another top. Don't know if that comes in more than one color. It does it? Uh, it's hard to say, unless they actually have hovered over it. Here we have some more shorts with a wrap around it. Kind of a, a sleeveless uh, hoodie. More comfy shorts. We saw three different uh, tops, uh, bottoms with that. Okay, another asymmetrical skirt with a very high side slit. You can see that this pattern imitated here and a lot of the colors carry between. So it should be fun to mix and match. That sheer top. It's a little too sheer. I, I wonder if we can put something under it. I mean, it's hard to see, but it looks like there might be some, she might be wearing something underneath it. And an equally sheer um, bottom that isn't covering anything. So unless your underwear is the same color, I don't see that I would use that. That's kind of cute, that top. And it looks like it comes in a variety of colors. There's some definitely bright colors here. Except for that, that's kind of boring. But it looks like it comes in a variety of other swatches. So that'll be all right. A jacket that goes over. Yeah, see how this is all one piece? I'm waiting to see, um, hopefully modders will be able to separate that because I really like that as a bathing suit cover up. Uh, without the pants. Now the floral asymmetrical skirt. Lots of cast items. Nice rainbow bra. Bathing suit top. Hopefully there's a bottom that matches it. There it is. And there's uh, a jacket with a little crochet top. Band, uh, bralette top. There's a bunch of uh, outfits that They've tried really hard to put together, but I feel like I would never use this in my game because I wouldn't pair long sleeves with shorts. If this was separate and with shorts, yes, but with a jacket over it, if you're cold enough to need a long sleeve jacket, then you should probably put something on your legs as well. That's what I think, but I'm an old lady, so who knows? Oh, did I say I wanted that bra top? I wonder if that can go underneath the sheer, sheer one. Okay, this is a little bit of a different wrap skirt. Again, asymmetrical, but this one with a wider waistline to it. Oh, that's cute. This top is kind of cute. Not mad at that. I hope this is supposed to be like a grass skirt because grass isn't red. All right, I think we're gonna move on to hair. So a long wavy ombre pulled back, a longer unombre. The same. Okay, so they have the ombre looks, um, the regular and the ombre of two different styles so far, which is nice. Uh, up on top of her head in a bun. Short, short, short. There's the long one. I like that one. I wish I could spin it around. Long side braid. And there's the one that our mermaid friend was sporting. A very sleek ponytail that bushes out crazily. Looks like my hair from the 1980s. Okay. I wonder if that's a unisex. Looks like a ponytail. And then the crown. And she looks very tropical, like she belongs on the island. Female lifeguard, I love this. It's a homage, 
homage to Baywatch, I'm sure, with a zipped up uh, swimsuit. Whoever thought to do that? Because one zip and it's all out for the world to see. Just saying. The, uh, the barbecue pit with the leaves over it to smoke the food in the ground. Very cool detail. What is this Angry Bird balloon? Like you could take it, put it in a slingshot, and chase the pigs. Just saying. I love this little toddler outfit. So cute, because I love toddlers. We need to look at these mermaids. This is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what this is. There's a little icon down here. Looks like it has a separate life stage, similar to vampires. Now there's a different color skin. It looks like there are several shades of skin tone for mermaids. Some of these might be uh, amazing skins for your alien sims as well. Or this would be a good one for a vampire sim. So it looks like there are four different fin types. This rainbow one, one that is more green, uh, green and black, and then green and black with lots of iridescence. And it does look as if they come in more than one color. So that's going to be fun to play with. Oh yeah. There you go. There's a pattern. And another. So it looks like you can customize them many, many ways. And I'm sure the modding community will come up with even more. Ooh. There's also mermaid top skin. Because, you know, maybe you don't want your mermaid's tatas out. And you don't want her to have to wear a coconut bra. So it looks like there's a couple of different mermaid top skins and then the coconut and the shells. And it looks like they're made to mix and match with the bottoms as well. Okay, new eyes. New eyes for our mermaids. Beautiful. New face paint, especially for the mermaids. Kind of what's new for the architects about there? Yep. You know, first and foremost. Lots of colors. So many colors. There's that plant that I was talking about. That looks like a new trash bin. Tiki torch. I don't know. This is new. This cabana style thing that you can put to stay out of the sun. Possibly new table and chairs. Definitely loungers are new. This I love. It looks like a wicker lounge with cushions. Again, a kind of a, a lean-to type. Uh, this would be great for rags to riches. I'm always looking for some way to get the Sims out of the weather. Looks like some new signage, new bar stools. This looks all new, this uh, wall. And then the openness for the windows. I mean, there's just a lot going on there and I don't even build, so I don't even know what most of it is. Island, we're gonna... Tip jar, is that new? Don't know. Lemonade? And uh, some sort of tropical fruit juice? Okay, that roof looks new. Now, some people were talking about the undersides being painted, but you can clearly see on this particular style, no, it is not. I do like this little trim here. It matches up here. I don't know what this is, but it's purple, so I like it. Looks like a new shelf. Is this a ladder? Could we actually use this for our Sims to go up? Here's more of those rattan chairs, the wicker set. That's beautiful. Island masks on the wall for decor. Looks like pineapple here. They have a new type of food here. I think that might be a new rug, new vases vases. This is new. This, yeah, this bed is probably new. This rug looks new. This round table, I know that's new. 
Let's sew for and chair. Hopefully they match and have the same swatches. Please Sims. Columns. This counter I think is different. I know this is not a thing. This wall counter with the shelves going, with steps going up that you could possibly put things on and a place for your plates and whatnot. I know that's new. I think that fan might be new. So much to see, so much. All right, someone pointed out this on Twitter. Guys, this is a ladder. Can we use this in our builds to get from floor one to floor two? It's not a, just a pool ladder. And you can see it goes all the way down. So if this is a ladder, can our Sims climb it? And if so, can we use it in builds um, in the place of stairways when it makes sense? And there are many places where a stairway just takes up so much room and something like this would open up a more space for your building. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There are two new videos down below that you can watch. Leave a comment if you'd like. I usually do reply. Hit the like button to share it on your Twitter. I can be found on Twitter and also on Twitch. And above all, have a really great day. Bye-bye.